Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Queen Elizabeth's hope never warned that strained relations could be relieved within the royal family. In the week's cover story, historian Robert Hardman said that the late monarch would have hoped that her grandson, Prince Harry, could repair his relationship with his father, King Charles III, and older brother, Prince William. The Queen, ad queen adored Harry right to the end, and Harry adored her. The author of Queen of Our Times, The Life of Elizabeth II, says of the special bond Harry and his grandmother shared. I think she was one of the conductes between Windsor and California, and it would have been one of her dearest wishes that they patch things up. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, have become distant from other family members in the recent years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from their senior royal roles in early 2020 and have resided in Meghan's home in the state of California since. Prince Harry, 38, and Meghan, 41, have been in Europe for a series of charity visits when Queen Elizabeth peacefully died at the age of 96 at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, hours after her doctors publicly announced that they were concerned for her health. The California couple remained in the UK for the Queen's funerary events for the following two weeks and travelled back to the US after the funeral. Now, those close to the King and Queen Camilla hope, for the sake of the new reign, if not salvaging family ties, that Prince William and Prince Harry will reconcile. You'd think that all the members of the family would unite and support the King, especially, a source close to the King Charles tells people. Perhaps some wounds can be healed in the process. It would be likely have been Queen Elizabeth's dying wish. She knew that conflicts were part of life, and she didn't hold grudges. Most of all, she wanted to see her family happy, the insider adds. Samantha, Samantha Cohen, the Queen's former assistant private secretary, attended Queen Elizabeth's committal service at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on Monday. She tells people that the royals looked tired as the gravity of the grief finally hit. It was a shock, and now it's real, and the real morning starts, Cohen says. The reality of life without the Queen starts now. Thanks for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment and subscribe.